Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $117,338.69. In the past year I am up $48,152.02. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $25,000. $112.96. I didn't make a video on Friday, but it shows that today I'm up $1,140.80. However, it's Sunday night. It's about to be past midnight, actually, so I'm making this video very late, but overall, I think I did very well on Friday. Um, things went as I expected them to, so it went well. Let's go over my positions. So right now, a lot of my options that expired on the 18th on Friday, they're now gone from my portfolio. So right now for my options, all I have are my SoFi $11 covered calls. These expire November 22nd. My total return, I am down $320. I'm selling Disney $105 covered calls. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $95. I have Verizon $35.33, sorry, $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $1,353. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $900. I have Disney $70 calls. These expired December 19th, 2025. My total return, $4,686. For my stocks, I have less than one share of Amazon. Amazon's at $188.69. My average cost, $185.26. My total return, $0.33. Cents. I'm going to sell my partial shares. I don't really care about keeping um, 0 0.096136 shares of Amazon because I can't really do my strategy with it, which is mostly covered calls right now, so um, I think I'll just get rid of these partial shares and then just uh, focus on getting uh, my shares of Amazon in increments of 100. And then I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $10.36. My average cost, $5.71. My total return, $29,764. And 48 cents. So on Friday, a lot of the positions I had expired. So one of them was my Amazon position. I had 300 shares of Amazon and I had covered calls with a strike price of 85. Yeah, I was selling the Amazon $185 calls expiring. October 18th and on October 18th on Friday Amazon ended up above 185 so my shares of Amazon got called away that's why it only shows you know less than 0, 0.0 you know whatever uh, uh, just a partial share of Amazon because the 300 shares that I had got called away and I still ended up making some profit from that overall from the covered call position um, next up I had Disney so I still have a position on Disney but not um, the shares and covered calls um, those got called away on Friday I still do have my Disney $70 call and the Disney 105 call that I'm selling uh, it's a diagonal spread but as for the actual $95 covered calls that I had that expired on Friday. Let me scroll down to history and show you guys. 
So yeah, I was selling the Disney $95 covered call expiring on October 18th. And what happened on October 18th? Disney ended up above 95. So that's why my 300, no, I had 400 shares of Disney that got called away. So Disney's at 97. I still ended up making some money overall from the covered call position on those 400 shares of Disney. But since Disney ended up above $95 per share on Friday, that's why those shares are no longer in my portfolio. But I'm okay with that. I still have a position on Disney, just not the same one with the 400 shares and covered call that I had before. Um, I just have the diagonal spread now. Another one is, I believe, Target. Target, I had covered calls on also. I had 100 shares of Target. Yeah, and I was selling the $150 covered call expiring on October 18th. So Target on October 18th ended up above 150. As you can see right now, the current price is 156. So because it stayed above that uh, 150 strike price at expiration, my shares of Target are now no longer in my portfolio, but I still ended up making some money from that. Lastly, I think we got Delta Airlines. So Delta Airlines, I think I had 400 shares. Let me check. So history. Oh, that's buying the. Oh, I. Oh, that's right. I bought it back. But. Uh... So this one's a little complicated. I had the $49 Delta Airlines covered call. But since it went up so much, I rolled it out to the $55 covered call. So I changed the strike price to 55. But even then, on October 18th, the expiration date, Delta Airlines ended up above 55. It is at $55.10. Wow. Really, really close. But it still ended up above 55. So because of that, my shares of Delta Airlines are no longer in my portfolio, and I still made some profit from the covered calls. Now, if you go look at my history, so after I did that, on October 18th, I bought back the Delta Airlines $55 covered calls, and then I sold all my shares. Now, if I had just waited, this would have happened anyways. Like, these Delta Airlines um, covered calls, it would have resolved by itself, you know? Um, the shares would have been called away. I would have just made whatever profit I made from the covered calls. But the reason why I sort of closed the position early is because I wanted that extra money in my portfolio. And the reason why I wanted this extra money, this extra buying power, is so that I could roll out my covered calls on SoFi. Now, SoFi, I used to have an $8 covered call position. However, I rolled it out to an $11 covered call position expiring November 22nd, so about a month from now. So I rolled it out to a further expiration date and higher strike price because I want to keep my shares of SoFi. I have a lot of shares, over 6,000 shares of SoFi. So because I want to keep that, um, I ended up rolling my covered calls out. $8, looking back, I mean, there's no way I could have known, right? There's no way I could have known it would have gone up that fast by that much. Um, but that's what happened. Anyways, I still did make some money, but I lost out on a lot of money because I had those $8 covered calls. I lost out. Um, but still, some profit, but missed out on almost $10,000 worth of profit sucks but hopefully things will go well from here um so i had to free up some money by selling my uh, get rid getting rid of my delta airlines covered call position that way i had enough money to roll it out because if you guys don't already know sometimes when you're out when you want to roll things out and you're in a position where 
you chose a strike price that was not high enough and then the underlying shares go way way up like I did here with SoFi it might cost a lot of money to roll it out to a higher strike price and for the expiration date it's gonna cost some money to do that and at the time if I hadn't closed out my Delta Airlines position I would not have enough buying power to roll these out so that's why I closed my Delta Airlines position early so that I would have enough buying power to roll this out and I'm glad I did because even right now um, so far it looks like it's overnight it's already up 1.77 percent so I am glad I'm sleepy I'm uh, I'm doing what it takes to keep my shares of SoFi and I still believe in them long term even at this price point even even over ten dollars I still believe in them I, I think there could be more upside from here but we'll see so that's my portfolio for now you know I, I haven't added anything to my portfolio in a long time and that's because my money's kind of tied up in other things right now and I'm busy kind of either putting money towards those things or busy paying things off a um, lot of holidays in the later half of the year right Halloween Christmas lots of things to spend money on so some of my money is kind of being put towards these other things and not into my portfolio for now um, so I'm um, maybe after like uh, it usually slows down like after New Year's right so after the year ends it's a little bit uh, I have some room to focus more on putting money into my portfolio but for now, um, recently, because of all these holidays and special events and, you know, things to spend money on, um, I've been focusing a lot of my money on things that are outside of my portfolio. And then a couple months from now, I think I can really, um, you know, focus on my portfolio and putting money into there and uh, focusing on that really hard. But for now, my money is being spent and tied up elsewhere. But yeah, that's my portfolio. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I will, you know, continue to make more of these in the future. So if you guys do like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.